Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Stefan Struve, who will be taking on Mark Hunt at UFC 146. And, um, well, it's funny, kind of off camera, we're talking like, you really are fighting Mark Hunt. They're not going to take that away from you, yeah? I don't think so. I haven't heard anything from the UFC, so I think it's just his army of doom <laughs> chasing for that title shot. So, But I, I, I'm i pretty sure I'm still fighting Mark Hunt. So. so what do you think is the biggest challenge in facing him? Obviously, he has very heavy hands. Yeah, yeah that's you know, yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. You know, he's got a uh, huge power in his hands, but if I use my reach and my height the way I should, you know, that shouldn't be a problem. You know, um, but Barry didn't hit me in that in the, in our fight. You know, in my last fight, I didn't get hurt. You know, so if I use my kickboxing and uh, the the way I can use it, you know, then I should be fine. You know, people always talk about the challenges of somebody smaller fighting somebody taller and lankier. But for you, I would imagine there is a reverse challenge in fighting somebody. Of a shorter yeah. stature, yeah. It's it's um th that's difficult too because um he, he's um I believe he's five ten, so he's gonna be the shortest guy I fought in the UFC. He's even uh, 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 an, an inch shorter than Pat, yeah. so it's gonna be the biggest height difference in the UFC. But yeah, it's it's a challenge, but you know we're uh, we're working hard on it, and um you know the the way we are training, I think is perfect for uh, a fight with Mark Hunt. And let's not forget, I'm uh, I'm training in Holland with some really good coaches for my kickboxing and stand up. So uh, I think I'll be fine in that fight. Yeah, that stare down picture is going to be hilarious. I can't wait. They're going to get him an apple crate or something. <laughs> No disrespect, not at all, but I mean, it's going to be pretty funny. Well, Pat, Pat just stayed on the scale, so that made it even about, so that's... And was he in his undies? I don't even remember. He, Pat loves his undies. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but you know, what, the baby, the, you know what I'm talking about. So let's... I hoping for, for, that he wouldn't do that, and he didn't do that, so I was... You couldn't do it. I believe so. Yeah. Let's talk about your training. You know, you just mentioned that you're in Holland and, and training very, dip, very hard. But you, what do you find that you're trying to improve on the most? You know, what, where do you, where are you really looking to grow as a fighter? Um, well, I never had any uh, really trouble on the ground with anybody. You know, so I think my ground game is pretty solid uh, to fight anybody. But you know, I'm still working on that to to improve that. And, um, well, you know, I lost a couple of fights in the stand-up uh, against some top guys in the division, but I think I grew immensely, uh, especially the, the, the last year. I've been working with some new coaches for my stand-up, too, and I think I've been doing really well. I feel really well, feel really um, confident when I'm in the cage now uh, about my stand-up, and, you know, I'm, I'm also still growing, getting bigger and stronger every fight, so it's, it's a good feeling. Which is incredible. That's the first thing I said to you when I said, I mean, you've grown. How much weight have you put on? I know at one point you told us your plan was, you know, to keep getting bigger and, and adding muscle weight. Yeah, I was, um, the last time I weighed, um, I believe it was Monday uh, in the morning, and I was 263 in the morning with one meal, so that's about 268 in the evening, I believe, so that's good. That's, that's, that's huge. You're a giant. Um, I actually want to talk to you about, you just mentioned your stand-up. You know, you're somebody who, to probably the detriment of your friends and family's heart conditions, takes a beating sometimes before giving one back. So, you know, people have said, oh, Stefan, sometimes a slow starter or kind of needs to get not that you need to get cornered or you know put in that kind of position but that you you know you're you're a comeback fighter and that so is that uh, a choice is that something that just happens is that something you want to change or is that how you're going to always be a, as a fighter it is something that has happened a couple times in the UFC but if you look at my my record i got um i believe 33 pro fights and 20 Eight wins, and most of my wins are in the first round. So slow start, I don't think so. You know, it just happened a couple times, and um, um, you know, pe people keep saying that, but I really don't believe that. That I'm a slow starter, and I'm planning to prove that. And just I, what I said, man, I, I grew immensely in the stand up, especially the last year. <clears throat> And I plan to use that against Mark and just show that, you know, I can fight with anybody on the feet. So. And so, obviously, I know why you came to Sweden, you know, for the UFC show. But, but um, have you been here before? Are you familiar with the place? I've never been in Sweden. been in Finland, so that's close. But uh, we live an hour and a half away from here in Holland. So but it's, it's kind of the same in Holland. So it's, it feels good to be here. Yeah, and what do you make of the growth of MMA in Europe, obviously? You know, 
it's growing and they're they're looking at getting MMA shows in, in a lot of the places here. And I actually had a conversation with somebody yesterday saying I was a little bit surprised that, that Holland wasn't a place where they went to for a UFC show. Yeah, well, Holland is known for its uh, martial art history, especially the K1. You know, we have had a lot of K1 winners and uh, the sport is uh, growing immensely in Holland too. If you look at, at the, the kids uh, classes we have at our gym, sometimes there's about 40 or 50 kids for, for a class. You know, that's that's crazy. And uh, there's there's a lot of young guys coming in for the MMA classes, especially because of the video game and stuff. They, they play the game and they want to do it and that kind of stuff. But it, it's growing and it, it will be awesome to have the UFC in, in Holland. I think it's going to be crazy as, as, as it is here too. You know, they, they sold out in 20 minutes, something like that. And yeah, so that's good. Do you have an opinion on who's going to take the main event, Alexander Gustafsson or Thiago Silva? That's tough. I haven't really thought about that one, but they're both really good, and it's going to be. Uh, um, yeah, it's Thiago's coming off a uh, uh, pretty long layover, but you know he's he's a really good fighter, and it's it's, it's a step up for Alex, but he, he's been really good in his last couple of fights, so it's it's going to be one to look out for. Yeah. Well, I will say here in Sweden, in Stockholm, especially the. Food is a little bit pricey, so I hope you got a per diem because you're going to go broke otherwise, my friend. I'm just going to go to the grocery store and get some stuff and stay away from restaurants because, yeah, you know, I like to eat as a heavyweight too, so it's going to cost me my UFC 146 money. I don't see. <laughs> the full verse. It's great to see you, Stefan. Have a good time while you're here and the best of luck to you against Mark. Thank you. Thanks.